what I thought was interesting with you and me is he, your son, talks about you and how you coach. And it, I just thought it was very similar to my approach on coaching. We go back to the basics. And with Heath Evans, is the same thing when he coaches people athletically. Mm -hmm. it, it's back to the basics, which is very boring for people. Yeah, but it's, it's your foundation of what makes you. Like, you can't, like, we don't come out and just start running. <laughs> like, we don't, like, I'm born and then start running. Everything's a foundation to get to where you want. Like, I think, feel your foundation and where you want to get to is only prohibited, is that what, prohibited or, or put in a halt position because of you. Like, you have the potential to be and do whatever it is you want. But sometimes people, it's too much. It's too hard to work. I don't have time. I don't really want to put that much effort in it, but I want to look like you. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, that's not going to happen. Like, like you know that's, the 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 that's the question. So It's instant results. They want to finish the race before they even start it. Before uh, they agree. put their name in the hat to join the race, they want to finish the race and look like Mike or wrestle like you. So I'll get a lot of this... Uh, Hey, I saw what you were doing. Um, I don't want to do this part. I just want to do the end. I just yes. want to do the end four weeks of your diet that where you got real slice. That's what all I want to do. I don't want to do this whole beginning part. I don't got time for that. I want to get to here. Yeah. And I know that you get the same thing. So just so you guys understand, um, you are coaching and teaching these kids now and, and teaching them to be Hall of Famers, wrestlers, and, and stars. The stars. Like TV stars. TV stars. And there's so, a yeah, there's so a huge the, difference between what you guys think is easy in wrestling. And and when I went to, where did I go? WCW. Um, yeah. It, um, yeah. Yeah. What was that called? What was it location? The Monster Factory in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, great athletes. Guys, great athletes. These guys were monsters bigger than me doing back tucks and stuff. Just great athletes. And, and it's, a, it's not just, hey, get in the ring, put on some spandex shorts, and then yeah. you're a wrestler. There's so much more to it. And I would be ignorant to think, hey, Billy, make me a wrestler. But I just want the last four weeks of it, and then get me on TV and let me go. Yeah, just teach me how to do flips and dives. I don't want to, you know. Everything else. Yeah, I don't want to know the basics. I don't want to know how to do rolls so it protects me in case I'm in there with something that's not very good that dumps me on my head and I never walk again. So how can we take yours and my method? And we got you here, which is the, the voice of the youth. And we got Jeffrey behind the camera, it would be the same way. Mm -hmm. is I get a lot of questions that you could, uh, metaphorically, the, 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 the same thing. The metaphor is, is, is the basic question where I just look at them and go, okay, if that's your question, you're completely lost. Um, and so I got a question the other day, and I said, uh, basically, when I was doing curls, hey, what's the rep range you're going for? Well, I'm not going to be one of these guys that tries to get 10 million followers and try to make tons of money off of personal training. I'm trying to give you something to get a real goal. Because if I can get a couple people real goals, those people will get other people. And then, then it catches on. Right. But if I keep putting out information that's just bullshit. It, yeah, but then it takes, and then it, then it, like we have too much passion and too much drive for what we do to so, give you that. So what like, was I the mean, answer? So my answer basically was, hey, uh, please go over, uh, watch my YouTube channel. I go into depth about red ranges and to different types of the year. Um, if it's supersets or if I'm off season, on season, whatever it is. And the guy wrote back and goes, you're a prick. Because what they want is what Colton said earlier, they want instant gratification. I just, so if I just went, okay, do two. So now he does two for three weeks and gets nothing. He goes, that Mike O'Hearn sucks. He doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, yeah. they, and they won't go into, they, th what they'll say is, I asked him how to make my arms bigger. They won't say, hey, I just asked what rep range he was doing today. That, so what they do is they spin everything around in a cotton candy maker <laughs> and then they just start spitting out, spin out shit that they, that will, that will make them look better and make somebody else look bad because that's where we're at. Like I could ask anybody any question on social media. If it's not the answer I want or it doesn't get to me where I want to go, it's you. It, you're the fault. Um, you're I'm the problem. You're the reason I'm not 290. Like that's you. No, there's, 
yeah, I can ask and do, but and, and get all the information I can take, but I have to apply it. And I have to apply it at a level that is going to be a little bit uncomfortable at times. <laughs> so, so it's the same thing with us. Yeah, sure, I can teach you how to wrestle. That doesn't mean you're going to be good. It just means you're going to know how to wrestle. Like that's, I tell guys this all the time. I can literally walk out this door over here, stand out in the street and flag somebody down and teach them how to wrestle. Like, but, but what does that do? What does that resonate in the, in the long run? Like, do you want to be a team? No, they just want to learn how to wrestle, but they don't understand the whole concept of what we do. Like, and I'm afraid that's where we're at today. Everybody just wants to dive and flip because that's the thing. Okay, well, that's cool, but do you want to have longevity? Do you want to be a Hall of Famer? Do you want to be a superstar? Do you want to make money? Do you want to love what you do? And that's what's missing today is the passion for what we do. I think mm -hmm. the, the similarities between how you guys both coach and how you get is the why. So, Mike, you can give me a workout plan. Say I first started working out. I'm just like, hey, can you just give me a workout? You say, okay, I do five sets of five. You can, A, go in there and lock up and do some rolls, and I'll do it, but I don't understand why. And both of you guys want to get to that point of your students understanding why you're doing something. Why am I doing that five sets of five? Okay, I get it. What's the rep range? I don't have to do five every time, but I've learned enough in power by, okay, I'm getting it right there. That's why I'm doing that. Okay, I get it. Hey, he made me do 600 rolls. Why was I doing that? Oh, I was just in the ring with someone that wasn't good, and he almost flipped me, and I had to roll out of it. That's why, okay, and that's why he taught me this move, and that's why he said that there. And I think that's the process that both you guys teach at, and it's not, I'm just gonna give you something, walk away. I want you to come do this, watch me do it, watch my YouTube videos, watch my, all my old stuff, just watch it, and you, you realize, why is he doing it like that? Okay, now I get it. It's not, here's five sets, see you later. Why did he do that? We got into a debate earlier. And you gave me a great point of view on something. Uh, you gave me a great point of view. That's one point. <laughs> yes, that's one. <laughs> one, point, one point of view. <laughs> I was talking about, I don't want to answer, I don't want to answer these people with a short one sentence. Uh, the guy that asked me about curls. Yeah, go do two mm -hmm. reps. Go do 10 reps. Because of the fact that if I give them an answer, I'm going to, and I, I do, a, they all tell me this. I'm telling them that they can look like me because of the answer I gave them. And, and, and I see so many of these YouTubers that are giving great nutrition tips, great, great lifting tips, great um, ideas for exercises, great home workouts. But what they're not telling you at the end of that, and which I try to do, is um, when I told everybody when this lockdown happened, I said, Let's make sure nutrition is okay and let's be in a surplus and build muscle right now. Let's not try to be these crazy people going, I need to be ripped now that I'm in lockdown. No, we're gonna hibernate, we're gonna build muscle, we're gonna let our bodies heal. This is a perfect time to go off season. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to explain to them something that they can be better next year, delayed gratification, instead of trying to be rock solid right now where everybody else is going, I'm gonna give you a home workout, we're gonna get sliced and diced in the home. Well, you're butting your head against the wall because you just did two things. You want, you're not having the greatest workouts because you're not stimulating the bone growth or the nervous system or anything else for that dense muscle that will stay there like how Mona is uh, or like how you are, just you walk around at 49 and you're still jacked. And that's because of the years and years and years of lifting. So I'm trying to teach them this. And, and, twice. and the one thing that I don't think that they get is that they're beating their heads against the wall and I'm not going to be that person selling that gimmick. So I think the problem with my generation younger or, you know, any, is the attention span of everyone has gone way, way down. So in order to understand what you just said, we're, we're, we're healing the body, watch what I'm doing, I'm strength, I'm, calories are up, that involves going back and researching. Hey, let me watch this 15 minute YouTube video. Whereas I can hop on Instagram. I'm already on it anyways, all day. This guy has a 40 second video and he has the whole workout right under his video. And he looks good. It's like, well, if I do this video, you just did five sets of 10 curls. That's all I gotta do and I'm looking like this guy. Yeah. As opposed to actually going back and studying the tape, I guess and you could say. Could... Thing, and I think the biggest thing is, and I already knew this, but to, to, to what I, because I understand what I do. 
when I really wanted to, to understand the weightlifting part, I think it was, it was did, I, it did, the two didn't resonate until I actually heard you say it and I went, that's true. It's just you have to have patience. It's the same thing with my food. When you do my diet and I call you and I go, hey, I'm gonna change, he goes, no. Like, <laughs> hold on, let's let, let it work. But, but even today, we want it, like we want that now thing. We want that now feeling and we want, hey, like I was, like I was in wrestling, I was in WWE for five years before I even understood what they were talking about, about an emotional connection or about psychology or about how do we put this stuff to, that's five years in the business like that's five years that's, that's not five camp. minutes that's on yeah. tv in there yes. not dark matches exactly. it's actually being yes. in the mix of it yes because that's how you get fit that's where we get feedback. should you have had that in the first three months yeah no when you're in camp, you, you can't even like, your dark you matches <laughs> yeah no you can't but it's it's consistency and it's it's you just have to have some patience this is the two biggest things that you have to have patience for because I can tell you all kinds of stuff until you do it, feel it, and know what we're talking about. Is that the uh, aha moment? It, it is. It's what, what we say in wrestling is when the light clicks. You, like somebody this. told you two years before that, nothing, and then that one day you just go, oh. Or the, yes, or the I biggest can't. thing in coaching is, is I coach them, my kids, a bunch. I am like in their ear. That's why I have to get them away from me. Because I can sit here and tell them and tell them and tell them and tell them and it never clicks. And then you come in, say you come in and say it the exact same way just in your, in your, the way you coach or the way you teach and they go, how come my dad never told me that? <laughs> and you go, but that's with any, that's with all my kids, all my, t my kids that I teach, they, they might hear, they're going to hear the same thing. It's just, they hear it with a different tone than you. Maybe. Maybe it's my approach or maybe it's my energy or something is shuts them down a little bit. But when you come in and just kind of just explain it a little bit different, it's all the same. Like, and I'm not saying what we do is all the same shit, but I ain't really creating a wheel when I'm more wrestling. Right. But I will tell you, show you personality. I will show you the in-between stuff that, that you're not, that you're, okay, we can do a flip, but how do I get to that flip? How do I make the people interested in that flip? It's the same thing. Yeah, we can build muscle and you can do what you want to do, but are you really at the point like a you? Like, a, if so if I lift weights, I'll look like you. Well, no, not even, that's not even, like, but people don't understand that. They don't, like how many times have you heard this actually? You, that somebody comes to a gym and wants to work out and they go, um, I want to work out, but I don't want to get, I don't want to get big. Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first, yeah, first of all, I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to put in the effort. You're just in here because your boyfriend told you to come in and, and start tightening it up a little bit. But it, there's a there's a huge commitment to this, to what we do, to what you do. There's a huge commitment, and most people are not willing to put in that work. Okay, so then let me ask you this, then. Um, and we can cut this out if you want to. Okay, I'm going to ask yeah. you a, a very personal question. Yeah. Um, do you coach now because you freaking love it and you love the craft that you've created or you do it for finance? I do it because the passion that I still have for this business being 56 years old and doing everything that I've done in this business, I love it. Okay. I absolutely love it. That's, I, I knew that was the answer and that's why I knew it was going to cut because I do this because I, 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 I want to share, and I said this to Ed Milet when I talked to him, he goes, why do I do this? Why do I still do this? Why do I teach it? And I said, because I want everybody else to be able to live what I've lived. And, and I don't do this for finance because I make my money somewhere else. Yeah. I do this because you can use weightlifting and nutrition for the one thing everybody wants, longevity. Yeah. They, they want to be young forever. Sure. And so I'm going to show you how to be strong and athletic for a longer period of time. So that's why I do it. So we both do it for that reason. Yeah, because it, it's, it's like that's, like I said, because I've done this so long, when people do things that long, like the newness kind of wears off. Plus I just, I'm with a new company now, AEW, which completely revitalized me. But I love, like I want, 
I want him to feel what I felt. I want him to be in front of 86,000 people and have every one of them come out of their seat because they heard me. They heard my music. I want you to live the life I've lived where you can travel around the world. You get paid. You have an awesome life. You can take care of your family. You can do this. But I'm doing something that some, like, they shouldn't pay me for what I do because <laughs> I, I love it that much. And, and it's so, it's so enjoyable. And so that's why I love wrestling so much because if you don't shut your mind off, I think we talked about this earlier too. It's the same thing with where I'm now. When I used to lift it, just go in and do lift a bunch of heavy stuff. And then all of a sudden I went, God, there's so much more to this. So how do I, how do I learn that? Like, yes, sure. I'll go to certain things. And then I came and connected with you and me and you connected because I want, I, I love the way that you do things. I love the way you explain things like Colton said, it's the why, like, I want to know why I need to do this. Like, why do I need to do incline when it's 135 and I can bench 405 flat? Like that's, and when I first, I went, yeah, because I'm not very strong. Yet. Yeah, well, if I'm not very strong, why do I want to do it? <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to walk in the gym and waste my time and do that. But now my incline is more, like when I'm healthy, my incline is more than my flat. Like it's, it's come that far. But, but that it was, it didn't, like I didn't go, oh, it's weak, tomorrow will be stronger. It was consistency and time that to get me to go to where I was at. And that's, I think that's the cool thing. And that is, the, that is the best way you can put it is I'll explain it to you. And then I'm going to tell you why we're going to do it this way. But it's, and it's not, it's our way. Like this is our way. This is what happens. And, and, and this is what happened for me. This, because I can't speak for anybody else because I'm not anybody else. I'm just me. And I've had a pretty good career, so I'm pretty sure what I've been doing has <laughs> worked pretty good. Yes, so, Hall so, of Famer. <laughs> so it's just, you know, you just you put it out there. And if you're willing, like I know he's super into your training. So he's like when you have people like that, these are the people that are fun to coach. Because everything you tell them, they just go, oh, you just, and they go, please give me more, give me more. And you go, whoa, let's, let's get there first. <laughs> let's go, let's get the You got a couple good points there. Uh, 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 the one is him to be able to feel what you felt. Um, and I'm going to come back to you in a second here, because I want you to tell us uh, as a youngster, how could we, because we're so passionate about what we do, how can we relay that to you guys maybe uh, in a better way? Um, or are you okay with this? Because the one thing he did say there is when you do get somebody that listens and sucks it up, that's fun. So I'll get the, I'll get the clients that listen to it and go, I know this is going to take time. I'll be patient with it. Um, some people are really bad on their diets. I'm not going to say names. Um, <laughs> um, Where'd my cookie I, I wrappers go? Where'd my cookie wrappers go? I'm going to make sure we more can't cookies. see that. <laughs> We're on 10 pounds in one week. Check out the YouTube video. 10 pounds in one week. Um, I know the patience is tough um, because we all want to get better. We want to get better quick. Um, is there something that you see that we could do better for these kids that are so like, give it to us now, give it to us now? Um, so when I first started working out with you, it was very tough because I had to check my ego, right? Like, you came in, we did the squats, and I sat down in a 12-inch box and couldn't get 135 out of there. I was like, no, no, I can do 315. Like, let me raise the box. No, no, that's where we squat. Like, okay, so I'm sitting back, and I got to watch how everyone's doing it and try to get in there. Tell me how many months you were there. I mean, I've been, what is it, been 15 months with you now? So, I mean, before I got to 225, it was like four months, maybe. Something like crazy like that. When, yeah. You know, you're in LA Fitness, and you're like, 315, let's go, let's go. You're the big man. Yeah. And then, you know, my incline, you know, check that too. Because, hey, your form is way off. We're not going, <laughs> yeah. we're not going past 185. <laughs> Dude, I just did 245 for one the other day, man. Let me go. No, no, no. no. He was still not going past 185. So that was tough. But, I mean, you've you got to realize that it's better for you in the long run. If I would have kept doing what I was doing... I'm never going to get past 245 like I was doing, or I'll never get past the 315 on the, sitting on the bench. But now I think I can go way past that. You take, you know, a year off to rebuild it, and now you're just going to take off. Um, so that was awesome with that. But it was a big check. Mm -hmm. at the huge. Huge. Like, why? 
I don't want to seem weak. Because you came over as you, you were doing personal training over at the, the location, were you not? No, I was just working out. You were working yeah. out there, okay. But then you came over. And just to kind of clarify, his squats and his form wasn't the greatest, and so we changed it. And then we also, uh, even more so, because I had a goal for him, even though at that time, what you're going to do was not in the books anymore, was not in the cards, is that correct? Or at least verbally it wasn't to us. No, no, no I'm not gonna do this. I'm not... And I know on this last trip, I, I was like, do not come back. Go, I don't want you coming back. You know what I mean? I want you to go freaking live the stream. And, yeah. and, and I felt like my dad said to me, uh, uh, when I moved from uh, Washington State to California, uh, he, he came in and my car was packed up and me and three other buddies were supposed to move to California. And all three buddies that day called and said, not going, not going, not going. And my dad comes in the, uh, my bedroom and goes, car's packed? Yep, get out of here before your mom gets home. <laughs> Go. And I'm like, well, you know, I, you know, nobody's going with me. He goes, nobody will, this is you. Get out of here, get going. And congratulations. And that's the, the same kind of thing. But it was like, I knew that you needed to change from how everybody lifts to more athletic lifting and something that's beyond because you're going to be a big, tall guy in the ring mm -hmm. coming after somebody like this. And then uh, um, I, I'm sitting there trying to think about how you and me coach. And he was telling me little scenarios about how we go back to the basics, back to the basics. And I know that you guys at home are like, no, no, no I want to get I want to get more to it. I want the tricks, I want the tricks, I want these, these little gimmicks that you can do. And I think you're the same as me when I talk to you guys, I'm talking to my young 15, 16, 17 year old self going, gosh, if you could just slow down right here, do this more, do this more, do this more, you're gonna be better than I ever was. And, and I try to teach you guys that. And from the years that I've been doing this, that's, that's how I try to teach. And I try to make you do it so you're not just hearing it, but you're actually applying it. And then you come back to me and confirm, okay, I did it. Now I understand why. What about you when you coach? What do you see? I, so when I coach, when I coach and I have my class and my kids that I'm going to have for a while, the first thing is, is building coaching for me is building relations because I'm going to teach you and tell you a bunch of things that you're going to have no idea what's going on. And, but I'm going to get you there but you have to trust me. There has to be some kind of bond. There has to be something. So when I tell you to do something, because when I taught at the Performance Center, I kind of had the upper echelon guys that were set with all their stuff. They just didn't know how to place it or how to do in between stuff. So for me to tell you to go do your stuff, but do it this way, there has to be some level of trust. It's not, no, I'm not your best friend and we're not boys because I'm still coach, but for them to listen and for them to take in all the information that I'm feeding them, they've got to want to listen and pay attention. I will not pay attention to somebody that I don't care about. I will not pay attention to somebody that is, I feel is just talking at me and not talking to me. Like I just, it's for me, it's like, I've always been like that. So like what we talk about, like I've always been like that. So I'm going to do that for somebody else. Like if I was me teaching me at 18, 20 years old, I would do that. Hey, let's build a relationship and have some fun and just kind of get in a groove a little bit. And then you'll know, yeah, I'm one of the boys. I'm still your coach and let's have some fun and build a relationship instead of me going, Hey, go over there and lock up and then go over there and go do this. That's very, <laughs> that's very turn offish. That's very, you're like, okay. And then I'm going to do it. And then it comes right back to the why I'm just going to do it because you told me to do it. And now I'm not getting any feedback of why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it because you said to do it. Yeah. Right, so, so it's all about relationships and, and, and the connection that you have with people. And I know nowadays it's harder because everything's over social media and, and so on and so on. But I'm talking more as my group, my AEW kids and, and all them. It's, it's when you, they go out there and work and they come back and I go, hey, what about this or what about this? It's not, oh my God, that was awful, that was horrendous, don't ever do that again. And then they just go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
I thought that was good and you just shattered my heart. So now when they come back and even though you're playing catch up and go, I mean, that was good and all, but the first initial thing was you just crushed them, they're done, they're done. So anytime you try to coach them after this, they're gonna, they're gonna go like this and listen, but they're shut, they're gonna like this if they have like blunkers in their ears, so they're not gonna listen to shit. <laughs> if, uh, I, I'm, I mean, I already know this answer. Do you coach them harder than you coach others? Are you harder on your kids? I, 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 so I don't think so, but I think I'm a little bit more of a perfectionist with them. No, I think I need them to be a little bit more perfection. Like I'll accept, I'll accept well, all- we have to answer this. Is he harder? <laughs> yes. Because uh, I know that I am. With, with like the Titan crew, I'm harder on them. I don't give them lead way um, because if they went this far to get in the Titan crew, I know that they're really, I mean, they want to get this. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give them everything I got. And I'm going to say, and this is what I demand from you guys. And I'm harder on those guys um, relative to somebody just kind of comes in for the one day workout. All right, let's go through it. This is the principles. Here's, here's why you do it and stuff. But when I'm working with them and I'm just think, curious because I think if you want to be the best, you need, you want, a coach that's going to be hard on you. If I come back and every time you're like, hey, that was a great lift. You did that perfectly. Hey, that match couldn't have done anything different. I'm not going to get better. You're not making me any better. So I, you need a coach that's going to be hard on you and demand perfection or you're not So for it. this also, I think it works into this scenario is there's two different personalities. There's this personality and then there's the other one. Like this one is more planned, where the other one doesn't know what he's doing in four <laughs> minutes. So you, so you also have to figure out how to deal, with, deal that. with that. Because there's some, like Austin, I can just, draw, just absolutely annihilate him. He doesn't need that, but he does need to be pushed a little bit. And I feel once we're in this, he's, I'm going to be able to talk to him, but I won't talk to him like Austin. It doesn't mean that it, they're, they're, that I care differently for them or I want them to succeed. Individuals. They are. Yeah. And they are. So it, all the, and I'm making it like it's a big difference, but it isn't a big difference. No, it's a so big difference. I will, so oh, I, it's a huge, <laughs> huge difference. So, and there's too. some people <laughs> the that you still different. have to coach <laughs> that are very sensitive. Yes. I believe okay, there's so, snowflakes. So let's take this. Let's take this. Go back to you. With the kids today that maybe aren't in the Titan crew um, because they haven't leveled up. Uh, they haven't said, okay, this really does mean something to me. I actually do want to make those leaps and bounds, those jumps. Um, what is it and how can you coach those people and give them what they need? I honestly, I think you can tell somebody something and if they don't have it in their heart and their mind that they want to do it and they have the passion for it, you could tell them 700 times, you could give them a day-to-day -day itinerary of what to do and they will not stick to it because they do not have the passion to do it. You have to have it in yourself and your heart to want to be better, to want to be in the Titan crew. You have to or you'll never make it. Yeah, I think that's as simple and easy. You have to have the passion and the drive. See, I was hoping. I know this was probably a dead end for me. I was hoping there would be something that I could say to these guys out there. But I don't think there is. I, mm -hmm. I think it, it's up to the individual. It's not this whole mentality of uh, this victim mentality today or the snowflake mentality today. It, I have to go, listen, that's how a lot of these people are. And that's 90% of them. And only 10% are going to come over in the Titan crew. But everyone that this. you guys surround yourself with and that you associate with has that mindset. So you're used to like, what, what do you, you're not going to do this? What, what do you mean? You're not going to push yourself to do So well, then that mean? ruins you because you are so frustrated. Right? I know that frustrates me. Like that, I would lose my <laughs> shit. So now I'm completely turned off and I don't want to teach nothing. I just oh. want to leave. So I get that I get that mad when somebody doesn't, and I think it's it, that's what it is. It's the passion. The if you don't way. like, if you 
if you don't like it, that's all it is. Make it it's fun. Just, yeah, those guys don't make yeah. this fun. Yeah, because I'm gonna come in here every time. I, yes, 100%. I don't know. I'm not gonna bench four up five like you, but I'm but gonna. gonna I'm gonna, gonna put the yeah, and I am gonna put the attitude on you that we can do it. He does it all the time now, which I think is absolutely hilarious. But it's. That's what makes us better. I That's what drive, back. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. drives <laughs> that drives us to do that. Like if you don't have that or have that will, because what happens is, is okay, you're way, way too hard. <laughs> you are way too hard <laughs> on me. But this guy that has a, 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 a internet certification, right. who, yeah, he doesn't look like you, but he's telling me kind of the same thing you are. I don't have to work that hard. And he says that I can do less than what you're saying and look just like you. And every Saturday. <laughs> hey, <way. laughs> hey, hey, and that's where they're going to go because that you're not telling him what he needs to do. You're telling him what he needs to do is way harder than what he's willing to do. But this guy is telling him what he wants to hear. So I'm going to jump ship yeah. because I can look like you. You just want you just want me to do it the hard way. You don't you you don't you don't really want me to be you because it, nobody's like you. Well, no, that's opposite. I want everybody that I teach to be me. I want you to be me. I want you to do everything I've done. I literally want you to experience everything I've done because it is cool. I've been in front of fifty people. I've been in front of eighty six thousand people, and I want you to feel that. I'm not teaching you because I want you to be wrestle next door for the neighbors. Right. I want you to be a star. I want you to feel that. And I want you to do live everything I've lived. You just articulated that whole uh, <laughs> frustration with me. Yeah. Because it's, yeah, you can go over to this guy. He's selling you a bill of goods. You ain't gonna ever get, get there. And he's selling you no. this whole thing. Oh no, it's real simple. You can have the pizza and train twice a day. Uh, what, once, twice a week. Yeah. And I'm telling you, no, 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 no. This is, this is going to be great. You're going to do this. You're going to be better than I am. Yeah. And you're going to enjoy it. And yeah, I guess it's just me trying to go, I got to accept yes. that I stay with the, the that small 10% that are willing to do it and, and pumps me up. Because we come in every day to, for the fight and just ignore the 90% of the people that just goes, I just want the handout. I just want the handout. The takers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's just what it comes. There's always going to be somebody out there that says I can do the same thing, but you're going to tell me what I want to hear. You aren't telling me yeah, nothing I want to hear. <laughs> you mean I have to eat like pretty healthy. I have to work out and change my workout so I don't flatten out or, or I have to do something that I'm not very good at, but you want me to do it. And that hurts, but you want me to do it. No, it'll make you better. Trust me. And, but this guy says I can just lay down and do a bunch of push-ups and sit-ups. I can do a hundred every other day. I'm in. <laughs> like, that's no effort at all. I did not like, give so Yes. I, I might want to go over to um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that $9.99 is the best $9.99 I've ever spent. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess this comes down to the, the, the passion that we believe and, and lived. And here's the biggest thing that you may miss you don't become a Hall of Famer in, in, in wrestling or in bodybuilding or martial arts because it was a two year career. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing it a while yeah yeah and and i guess we both want for you guys to be able to live the lives we live and that's why we coach um well how uh, excited are you guys both when you see someone that you've coached accomplish something like if they come to you okay. i have this goal and when they accomplish that how happy are you when they finally get a goal when they when, they when my kids that i teach get on tv I literally want to sit in front of the TV and cry because it's that. It makes me when that get excited. Over the crowd, yeah. yeah. Like, well, I'm just and like when they've gone and I know what they've gone through. I know the work they put in. They did everything they were supposed to do and more. And then they finally make it to the main roster. You literally go, holy cat! And like it, like it, it's 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 another level when they do it. But right. like even kids I coach, there's been like five or six or seven that I've coached, probably more that I've coached that I've watched debut on TV and it is literally the happiest. Like, I don't think I can get any happier. Like, it's That's that cool good. Thing. Yes, That's a cool thing. yes, and very was, much. In the Titan crew, when we got this, uh, this, this last year when we did this Titan challenge and we got these people in incredible shape. And we just talked to another guy the other day who dropped 90 pounds in the last uh, five months. And it's like, that's the coolest thing in the world yeah. to see these guys doing. Yes. Roll to the, the kids. That goes right back to y'all's passion about it. Yeah. We're so passionate about it when we see other 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, you love it. Well, thanks for hanging out. And we are going to put 10 pounds on you this one week. God, I hope so. <laughs> I am so tired of sitting at 250. I can't stand it. 250? Look at the little cutie. Yeah, Mike's put 40 pounds on me in, yeah, yeah. in two weeks. Follow him around. Yeah. Follow him around. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, subscribe. Um, follow these guys. Road to the Ring for Junior over here. Yeah. Yes, it is. <sighs> And and for all you Chap snowflakes that just want the quick answer, sorry, we can't do it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we, we're not going to do it. In a roundabout way. In a roundabout way. We can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat. Yeah.